Alrighty, today what we are going to do is we are going to do a thorough test on to see which anvil is more efficient with power, the quarter inch hex or the three eighths. In the previous video, I already swapped these out and I showed you that you can swap these anvils out. So right now we have the quarter inch hex anvil on the DeWalt impact wrench, the model number DCF890. So we're going to find out if you really lose torque between the anvils. Now, of course, if you use the quarter inch hex, no matter what, you will be, uh, the extension will lose torque. We're, uh, we're going to see how much torque you actually lose between the two anvils. Well, let's find out what the difference is. In the last video when I was taking these apart, I had issues with the quarter inch hex locking in the bit but I took I took it apart again and I figured out what was wrong and now the bit is in there pretty well it's in there like normal and just like normal that's how you, how you take it out so I did get it to work here's the picture of what I needed to do to get that done so what you pretty much needed to do you need to uh, put the ball bearing and wedge it in between the spring as you see in the picture Alrighty, but right now we have the quarter inch hex on there. We are going to uh, do some lag screws. Alright, so I have a quarter inch hex on there right now. Uh, we are going to do a six inch and an eight inch lag. And we are going to see what this is. And as soon as, uh, and as, soon as this is done, I'm going to swap these out. And then uh, put the three eighths inch anvil back in. And we are going to see what the time difference is when it comes to torque. Uh, because with this kind of this kind of test, there's no point on doing a timber lock. This is all about the the power that you gain or lose. All right, so I think right here is good. Uh, battery is full. All right, so ready, go. is in and that is time that struggled a little bit the anvil didn't skip that much which so let's go to the eight inch and see what this can do all right so ready go Try that again. Nope, nope, no, that's good. That's okay. Let's continue. All right, I lost the momentum. Let's see if this could take it out. Oh, let's do the six inch first. All right, so ready, go. It cannot. Let's see if we can take this out. Ready, go. It cannot. Wow. It cannot. It cannot take it out. Alrighty, so that's unfortunate. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch out the anvil. So we're going to see if the 3 8 inch anvil can take this out. And yes, this is what I'm talking about really quick. When it comes to the bearing, make sure the uh, the bearing is wedged in between that spring. Or your bits will not lock into place. 
Oh, yes. And I did want to point out that there is a lot of plastic in these, on the DeWalt tools. Just to let you guys know. Plastic, like, there's a lot of plastic in there. All right, so now we're going to put the 3 8 inch anvil in there. There we go. There's the 3 8 inch anvil. And this is the last time I am taking this apart. So, I gotta put this one back on. For one screw, you need uh, a long one. There we go. That is that. Alright, I think that is it. Let's put the battery in there, make sure everything works just fine. That is forward. Yep, all three work. Forward, stop, and reverse. Alright, and this we are going to test out heart socket, the mechanic socket set I got. All right, I got uh, Hart's 19 millimeter right here. Just like that. All right, so let's see if this is gonna take it out. The battery is full. We're gonna try the four inch first. All right, so ready, go. Sorry, that's not four. Inch, that's six inch. It it did it did it. The quarter inch hex failed to do that. That's actually a result. We got a result right there, ladies and gentlemen. Finally, we get we get a result. Oh, now this is the same tool. This is the the uh, impact wrench. Now it has the three eighths inch anvil, and it took that out when the quarter inch hex failed. All right, so let's see if it's capable of taking out the rest of this 8-inch. All right, so ready? Actually, let's see if we can drive it in a little bit more. Ready? Go. Nope. All right, let's see if we can take it out. It cannot. It cannot. Try it again. It can, that's a little, little bit too much for that. A little bit too much for that. Let's actually whip this out to take that out. Go. Ooh. Wow. Go. It cannot. Wow. Wow, that is in there. Seriously. Do I have anything else more powerful than that? I might need to actually manually take that out. Attempt to take this out. We are, that's, but see luckily I have these now. Let's see if I'm able to take these out manually. Oh my, Jesus. Ah, there we go. I need a torque bar, a big torque bar. You try the. Impact wrench first. All right, so ready? Go.
There we go. All right, let's try one more spot. Let's see. There might be a nut right there. All right, so ready? Go. These are actually holding up. These heart, seriously guys, these heart socket sets are actually holding up. I don't see any metal fragments around the area, which I'm surprised, which I know, trust me, I know these are not impact rated sockets, but that's what this channel does. They take a product and stress them out to the max to see how well they hold up, because if I use these how they're supposed to, it would take forever to judge them on how well they actually perform. So let's see if we could take it out. This is crazy. All right, so ready, go. And that, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, is a result. Big result. All right, so we have just proven that there is a big difference between a quarter-inch hex anvil to a three-eighths-inch anvil. Having no uh, extension, it majorly increases the torque you have. And uh, you, you don't lose power during the process. So th this actually did an extremely good job. And the only downside is with the 3 8 inch, you're restricted to sockets. You can't use bits. But that's why they made an impact driver and an impact wrench. So on an impact wrench, 3 8 inch anvil is what they recommend on using, which is why you don't get uh, quarter inch hex impact uh, quarter inch hex anvils on a wrench because you don't need it. Let's do a quick temperature reading. 95, 96, not bad, not bad at all, 98 degrees, not bad at all. It worked extremely hard and it stayed cool. This did not get up to 100 some degrees and yeah, so th this, that's awesome. So that's pretty much it. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.